Hey guys, Mike Patty here with Cine Samples, and we are excited to announce this new project with Abbey Road Studios. You know, at Abbey Road, uh, they have two upright pianos uh, in Studio Two uh, that are world famous and have been used in countless recordings. Uh, and they have the names Challen Tack and Mrs. Mills. Now, we were presented with the opportunity to collaborate with the guys over there and, uh, and sampling these instruments and creating something for you guys and, and ideally preserve a little bit of history in the process. So here we go. I'll start right with the, the first instrument. This is called the Challen Piano. And a uh, little history. This piano was built uh, in the 1930s by a company called Piano Works in London. And this piano has a, uh, a mellow sound compared to uh, the Mrs. Mills, which I'll show you in a, a little bit. So briefly, how we sampled it was uh, we have the sustains uh, were sampled with the piano with the pedal up and the pe pedal down. So the pedal up sounds like this. Right? And if you put the pedal down, you get that nice that nice resonance because the dampers are removed from the strings. Before I get to the other pianos, I'll show you uh, some of the scripting things that we've put into here. Well, first of all, um, everything has been recorded in multiple microphone positions. Uh, I'll just show you this picture here. There are a lot of microphones used in the process of recording the instrument. And so our job was to consolidate them all and create three unique sounds that you can choose from. And the first one uh, that, that Tim created is called a vintage mix, which is using a lot of the older gear and kind of harkens back to some of the older recordings. Um. That's the vintage by itself. Now let's take a look at the modern. This is just a more of a modern sound, and each of the vintage and modern mics are they're more of a close uh, mix. And then we have just the room. So this is the, uh, this is Studio Two. Very roomy sound. Uh. And by default, all three of them are mixed together. And then we have this fourth option, which is uh, the reverb, and you have uh, a variety of impulse responses that you can choose from. And this is off by default, but each one of these, these are the send knobs, and they go right to the reverb. So, uh, we'll turn it on first. <laughs> okay. Turn that back off. 
All right. And then we have a sample start knob. We have a release time knob. And then we have a pedal noise because when you put the pedal down and put it up, that there's a sound there for that. And sometimes it's nice to just either turn that off or, or bring it out. And then we have a variety of EQs. Uh, here we have um, stereo width knob, saturator, and a filter. And what's great about this interface is that you can apply each one of these effects individually to each one of the microphone mixes. So we can apply just a little bit of EQ to the vintage. That's what's indicated here by the V. We can maybe just apply a little bit of a filter to the modern if we wanted to, you know, and just a little bit to the room if we wanted to. So it's, it gives you independent control, which is quite nice if you're looking to dial in a specific sound. Now, uh, the most important thing here is the, uh, the curve presets. Um, well, first of all, you can draw stuff in. This is the velocity curve. You know, we had something similar in piano and blue, which allowed you to adjust how the keyboard responds because all keyboards are different and you really want to have control over that. Uh, so we have, uh, you know, softer and harder, <laughs> which is that, or you can just adjust the amplitude here. And then you can also adjust the dynamic range which kind of acts like a compressor. If the dynamic range is all the way down, the dynamic range is as low as possible. In other words, the lows are gonna be loud and the highs are gonna be quieter. It's like a compressor. So if you turn it all the way up, you're gonna get more of a natural. The louder you play, the louder the, the tone. So let's set that back to the default. And then there's a little mono stereo button here to help emphasize any vintage sound that you might be going for. There we go. Okay. All right, let me move on to the, the next piano. Well, it's not the next piano, but the challenge has a unique feature which allows you to convert it basically into a tack piano. And in, in with the actual piano, this is engaged by pressing a pedal uh, that lowers these sort of brass tipped strips of felt that drop down in between the hammers and the strings. And uh, here, let me just show you what that sounds like. get the idea so this is uh th there are these like brass tip strips of felt and they um you know, alter the sound so the hammers are hitting this thing and then that's hitting the the strings so it's a much more piercing <laughs> piercing tone okay and uh let's move to the third piano here the mrs mills now this is the most characteristic of of them all. This is um, the challenge is taken really good care of, but the Mrs. Mills, uh, not so much. It's a Steinway piano, and it's played an integral part in countless recordings. <laughs> So the t you know the piano is a little bit out of tune.
So that's that's it. These are these are a very unique sounding piano, and and I think um, it was really cool to get to work on this. This is just an incredible opportunity. Uh, first of all, to work with the guys over there at, at Abbey Road, and and uh, and you know our our goal at Cine Samples, as you know, is is um, number one priority is the orchestral instruments, but we get these opportunities to do something really cool. And uh, and we're really proud with the way this thing came out, and and uh, it's I'm definitely going to use it a lot. It's it's uh, as far as a you know being a a video game composer and, and a film composer, if if you're doing those things, sometimes you get tired of the same piano sound, and this gives you something a little bit unique or quirky to add to your music. So uh, we hope you like it. And uh, by the way, this is all for contact players, so you don't need any software uh, to run it. And uh, we hope you uh, we hope you like it. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a good day. Bye.